Jason Bollingman. I also work here in the Application Marketing Group uh, here in Des Moines on Future Products. And uh, we are very excited to share with you an innovation we are working on um, on the Four Series Sprayers. And you can see it right here behind me. It is a sprayer boom made out of carbon fiber material. Now, some of you are probably looking at this and say, John Deere, why would you make a sprayer boom out of carbon fiber? Well, our customers continue to demand more from our sprayers. They want more in, uh, productivity per day, acre per day. Uh, they want better infill performance, and they want us to keep the same reliability and durability that they've become accustomed to on the force years. Carbon fiber and integrating it allows us to further improve the force series in those areas. All right, so let's just talk a few minutes on, on those three key areas. So first up on durability. John Deere is well known for making very durable and reliable sprayers. But we don't have a lot of uh, knowledge uh, when it comes to carbon fiber. So for that reason, we partnered with King Agro, who's based in Argentina. And they have over 23 years of experience and are world leaders in carbon fiber technology. And upwards of uh, six years ago, they started making sprayer carbon fiber booms that are still in operation to this day in Brazil and Argentina. We here at John Deere saw the potential, uh, recognized the potential with King Agro, and partnered with them to design, develop, and manufacture the carbon fiber boom you see here today. Now again, back to why carbon fiber. Carbon fiber has a lot of properties that make it a great fit for a sprayer uh, boom. First off, this is strength to weight ratio. It's much higher in comparison to steel and aluminum. So what that does for us is allows to manufacture a 120 foot boom, same as our steel, but it's a lot lighter. In fact, it's over 30% lighter. This thing. Okay, sorry. Um, a lot lighter, a 30% lighter. It also gives us the ability to extend it to much greater widths while not increasing much weight on the sprayer. Again, compaction always can, is always a concern and challenge for our growers, so it allows us to not add a lot of weight, but I'll add a lot of those size. Another reliability benefit of carbon fiber is its resistance to corrosion. Corrosion to chemicals, herbicides, fertilizers like UAN, and it is resistant to UV exposure from the sun. So year in and year out, exposure to those chemicals to the sun rays is still going to keep its strength and hold up. Again, it's a, a, a good material to use. Now, in the event that an operator may hit the boom on something inside the breakaway on the end and fail a component, we have a, a very simple, easy to use break or uh, repair kit that can be installed um, in less than a day and the boot section is installed on, it actually brings it back to full strength. All right, so we've got a way to repair it if a failure should occur. Again, a lot of good properties about carbon fiber. And I'll try to hurry this up. The <laughs> uh, second piece to it we talked about is productivity. Obviously, I mentioned that carbon fiber allows us to extend the boom, which means more acres per day. But there's also a lot of agronomic benefits to that, in addition to pure productivity. We all are well aware that weed resistance continues to be an issue for our growers, right? And, we, and the best way to control those weeds is to spray them when they're little, when they're small, and when they're most easily, con easily controlled. And with the wider boom, again, that's more acres per day, and it gives the operator, the growers, the chance to cover more acres and attack those weeds at the right height. Now let's say, for example, that we have a year where the weather actually cooperates, and we find ourselves with a little time. Well, with these wider booms, what we're going to give the operators the ability to actually slow down and prove their, uh, their, uh, their spray ability, their spray efficacy, and do a better job all by all of you get a good productivity. So again, it, it's, it's good on the, on the other side when you have a good year with good weather. And then last piece on productivity, again, wider booms means less passes in the field, so that means less info costs like labor and fuel, which is again good for the grower's bottom line. The last piece I want to talk about is infill performance. I mentioned that carbon fiber uh, using it will lighten our 120 foot steel boom by over 30%. So again, lighting, lightening the boom lightens the machine and reduces our compassion. Whether it's uh, uh, increasing weed resistance and, and growers making more passes per year, or when you have to spray at the right time and you're in less than ideal soil conditions, less compassion and less weight is always a good thing. If you are using a larger carbon fiber boom, again, the larger width means less passes in that field, less tire tracks in that field, and less overall surface.
bounce is very key, when, especially when you're in terrain that's very hilly, or if you're operating conditions, again, with wet soils or maybe heavy clear gumbo soils. Um, by having carbon fiber, we're maximizing that 